Hi everybody, so in video 1816 we made this and went through how to make it. It's a basic building block for the improved Darwin wind turbine that Max Kennedy sent through. So we put that into a stack of three like that to test if it worked and of course it worked. But we've got this pile of plastic parts, I'm surrounded in plastic. We've got this pile of plastic parts that are going to make our Darwin wind turbine. Now this is printed in PLA and what's good about PLA is it glues together with this stuff really strongly. It's a good firm bond. This stuff is just crazy glue, obviously. Now if we glue those together then we can put our kit of parts into a tower so we can erect that tower there and that's what we'll be blowing the wind at. The Glue will make us a nice firm erection that can take that blow. So that's what we're going to do is just put those together. And when I've glued it all together, that's what I get. Now I've put a flat disc on the bottom and a nice ring piece on the top because that's where the motor's going to go. And of course we're going to go off and test this. And it's always funny, I think, how you can take something that looks like nothing more than a badly made doll's house sofa. Once you stack it together, you start to get something. And I think that's the way it is with three-dimensional stuff. You have to think in the basics and then how it's going to look. And once you can do that, 3D is a breeze. But there is our replication of Max's work. And we're going to see if this does what it did in Max's video. That is, we're going to blow some air here and see what happens to some coloured string. Okay, so I've done exactly what Max did. I've given this these purple, co uh, the wool actually, purple wool dreadlocks all the way around, and there's eight of them. We're going to put a fan on it and see what happens to those dreadlocks. So immediately you can see that the ones here. There we go, I've been blown up. So it is capturing the wind and it is forcing the wind up here. So that was pretty cool. We know it captures the wind. We know it forces the wind out through this hole. Let's see if it generates. And to see if that happens, what I've got is a PC fan converted to a generator attached to an LED. And all we're gonna do is put the fan on it and see if we can light that LED. So there it is in its normal position, lighting an LED. Now let's do what I think is interesting and turn it on its side. <laughs> Look at that! If anything is better, let's put it upside down. And it works upside down as well. That is really, really interesting. Okay, so I found that absolutely fascinating. I mean, there were things to learn. So um, the dreadlocks, for instance, they were moving. And what that tells me is maybe these fins weren't big enough. Now we've just put a slit straightforward slant on here, 45 degree angle, but what about if we put a curve on it? That would probably improve it. I've got no idea if that gap is right or not. So maybe a bigger gap, a smaller gap, don't know but it's all worth investigating. And I know Max is still working on it to look at some of those things. What I found really interesting was, um, we started it that way, and you kind of expect it, because that's the way the angles are. Also, it worked that way, and it worked that way. That's actually really super interesting, because of course, if you arrange something that way, well, your turbine is up in the air, isn't it? And it's, it's difficult to get to, and hard to maintain, and exposed to the weather. You work that way, of course, your turbine's on the ground, and so it's not difficult to get to. It also makes me think, what would happen if you just stuck a pipe in here, put that in the air, brought it down to the ground, would it capture the air, force it down the pipe, and still turn the turbine? Which has got to be super interesting, because instead of sticking a turbine up there, you're sticking what is essentially a pretty lightweight structure up there and directing the air. That's what I think is super interesting and be the one that I'm actually investigating. So with the Darwin turbine uh, uh, that we've got now, where we know that this stuff works, in that orientation, with a pipe stuck in it, going to the fan and see if we can generate with that just up in the air. That is what I think is going to be a real good way forward. Anyway. Hope you're enjoying the exploration. Hope it's sparking off a ton of ideas in your head as well. And um, 
If you want to know more about the output, you know, how many volts, how many amps, at this stage I've got no interest, I'm just exploring the fact that it can do it, but if you want to know that, can I suggest you build one and see, and then share it with everybody else. That way, we are going to create a more efficient, brand new, cheaper, easier to install turbine in the community. That's going to be a good thing, hasn't it? Thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to like, subscribe and click the bell for notifications.